heating up here. Time to report back to Alron and let him know the good news. <laughs> I bet his jaw dropping surprise when he hears. Hmm. I finally tracked you down, Particio. Okay, who the heck is that guy? <laughs> Watch, I could run back in and see him again. Probably not. He's probably despawned, but uh... Yeah, hopefully the uh, previous owner of this place didn't mind it being turned into a department store. Anything good to stock our shelves with Particio? Yeah, sure did. Look at this place. Look at all the things being sold. Even take a little bit of a chill pill and relax there. Maybe if one of the places is selling food, you can munch there. Ah. It's a weapon shop, item shop, and uh, there's nothing that I, as the player, can interact with over here. But hey, there's a couple other things I can interact with there. Cool. Oh, not right now, but down the line, probably. Probably pretty darn soon here. But yeah, that should bring uh, some new attention around here. Get silver flowing in as people come to see the apartment store and see about purchasing something. Huh, what's this now? Fog? Weather's all wrong for a fog bank to roll on through. Whoa there. Alron's manor's gone white as a ghost. What in tarnation's going on? Something spooky. Venture into the mist. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was going to go right into cutscene or if it was going to keep on being gameplay, so I just kind of stayed quiet there. Oh, now it goes into cutscene, right? Yep. Ah, it's even misty inside. Uh, this fog, it, it ain't right. Dang, fog's everywhere. Master Forticio. You all right? Stay with me, fella. A um, man. He appeared out of the mist with a strange device. He... He attacked me. That's rotten. Where'd he go? To... Master Alron's room. I failed him. I should have stopped the intruder. Tissue, please. You leave it to me. I'll deal with that suspicious snake. Hold on, Alron. I'm coming. So this is going to be how we get our boss battle here. It's been a little while since I've saved, I think. And there wasn't a save thing just so it says. I'm actually going to run out really quickly. It might not be necessary. But I'm going to go and save and then run back in. That's <laughs> what I think I'm going to do. Just to be on the safe side of things. Ah, and then the music's going to get all cheerful again. Pretty sure I'm fully healed, all right. Yeah. Fully healed and stuff. Let me just run over this way and then uh, hit up that book. Which is over here. Yeah. Yeah, because it had been like 40 minutes since I saved from the timestamps there, so probably a good thing to actually save my game. Because even though I should be over leveled as heck and super overpowered for this, just on the off chance that uh, something bad ends up happening or I majorly screw up, I'd rather not lose the better part of an hour. You know, that would uh, that wouldn't be fun. So <laughs> glad that we've prevented that situation. Alron! Particio, stay back! There's something hiding in this fog! Uh, th there is? 
It's too dangerous. Leave me. Run! Sorry, Alrond. I can't do that. I never turn my back when there's an enemy lurking about. Still, it's hot as high noon here. Oh, this mist. I could swear I've seen its like before. Steam? I, I got it. This ain't mist nor fog. It's steam. But why is there steam in here? Oh, ho, ho. some varmint sneaking around using the steam to hide, eh? I don't know who or what you are, but didn't your parents teach you any manners? I don't care if you're some sort of fog monster or what. I'm ready to fight. Come on! Don't care if you're some sort of fog monster, man. You should have played Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected or Future Redeem. So he has a steam engine there? Can I take your target through the fog? Huh. The steam engine is being used for evil. Enemy in the mist. Steam engine. Yeah, let's analyze that steam engine. Okay. Should be able to just use a... Uh, Thing where Bob light revenant against it or something, then maybe. Here. I'm waiting. What's in sight for safety? Oh, I should turn off the duty camp during uh bosses. Let's go. Um here. Let's do this, how about? Alright, well you're not weak to that. It doesn't quite seem Reload. like. Oh, I have boost start on Particio right now. Um You know what? I think I actually will. Here's a little something for you. I think I actually will do that. Reach max boost on the next turn. E blast. Ow. Rude. Here I come. All right. Let's uh start putting on some thingma bobs. Your next move wisely. Is what we can do here. Vengeful blade. Cloudy fog. Do. do. Oh. All blind and stuff. Ouch! I return your wrath twofold. But I'm blind, man. I can probably do another analyze here before I need a heal. Probably. All right. I don't know, do this and see a weakness for now. If I don't already have it. All right, cool. How about we go ahead and do this now? And uh, be pretty decently safe. I like that idea. Throw a wrench! Oh, well, there goes goes my sidesteps. No! 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 Man! Put more on! More sidesteps for everyone! How about... All right. Sure, put on some more things. Your next move wisely. I'll have Vochet deal with this in a hot second here. Well, Lou, let's analyze the steam engine for the steam engine's last thing. All right, now I know. Probably wasn't too important to know, but uh, figured I would anyway. All right. Let's go ahead and do this then. Let's give that a go. Not enough. Not quite enough, but there can't be a whole lot of health left on the steam engine. I won't back down. I'm gonna do this now, I think. Oh, never mind. Can I some oh yeah, the concerned wife. <laughs> Let's bring the concerned wife again. <laughs> Just for fun. There we go, look at that. Amazing. Modify. As long as you're not healing it. My turn. I'll end. What is this? How about this? Goodbye, steam engine. Ten Let's give that a go. Next. There we go. Sweet. Fog lifted. Who are you? You're good. Kirsten. Oh, I'll have to press oh, A manually. Wait. I know you. 
You're Mr. Rock's employee. Name of the. Uh, Got very my wide eyes. Thirsting, you twit. You're as infuriating as ever, you idealistic bumpkin. Because of you, I. So you were just sneaking around with a steam engine? I was fired. Oh. Rock gave me the axe. Me! So you're not still working for Rock? Huh? He did? You ruined my life, Articio. So now you're here just because you're pissed off? So I'll kill you and put a stop to your pathetic little business deal with Alrond. That oh, can Particio see him right now? Particio's blind. It has to. I don't get what's got your britches in a twist, but I've never turned down a bra. A word of warning, I never hold back in a fight, neither. Alright, time to wreck him. Um... Alright. Guess you're not weak to daggers, but there's my HP back there, at least. Hold your horses. At least there's that. Someone, who do I have? Oh, the freaking violinist. It's sure, let's bring the violinist. <laughs> From forever ago. I guess I already realized that you had no dagger weakness. But, uh, let's see here. Let's have a look. The mega analyze with the super crazy camera angle. All right, you got Rando's kicked. <laughs> My turn. All right, well, I haven't seen all of these yet. Second strike will be more powerful than the first, more weak points you've revealed, more potent the attack. Well, I have all of them revealed. So, like, let's try it. Axe of the Lion Heart. Ooh. Ooh. Uses quite a bit of SP, but, it, you know, that was unboosted. It's pretty strong. Seems like. Definitely seems pretty decently strong. Sure. Give it a go. Give it a shot, why not? Whoa, then, out. let's see here. Very darn strong. Screw it, I'm doing this again. <laughs> why not? Give it a go again and just get ultra safe here. Bam, two damage. We're hitting hard now. Getting the real hard hitters out here. What would happen if I tried to capture him? I mean, what's your health at? Oh, I guess I'm not gonna see there. Uh, because I wouldn't mind stealing from you stuff definitely wouldn't mind in fact oops Let's do it. yeah screw it. I put on the seal diffusion because I was gonna do sidestep of whatever how much money do you have much appreciated. 17k nobody has as much as that dog from Particio's last chapter that had 30k on him my turn why is nobody rich as, the, as rich as that random dog? I don't get it. <laughs> I do not understand. I don't sure. Wow, that hits really hard for just a normal attack. My god. My goodness gracious. Yeah, but I guess so. I guess that's fair, but still. We <laughs> give so much money to a dog. It's not like the dog's gonna spend it. <laughs> We'll get round with kick. The concerned wife hits so much harder than the violinist. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> of course, the dog is more net worth. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, my. Well, how about Arrow Fortune? Arrow Fortune. Give it a go. That's his current SP. All right. Well, cool. I'll buy violinist. Here I come. I'll end. Okay, he's probably gonna survive this. You know, he still has a decent bit of health left, which means that I can still steal from him. Um, six different weapons on random foes. I'm gonna try here. Let's give it a go. My God! Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, not even flex tape's gonna be able to fix that one. I don't think here. Like, my good gracious. I don't know. I don't know if I'm using his boost otherwise, so. Let's see how much this hits for. Okay, a decent smidge. Yeah, Hikari's hitting the hardest there for sure. Okay, he's pretty low now. Um, do you think here? What does he have? He had an olive of life! Cool. 
Well, I stole all of new and improved. Oh, Phil can fix basically anything. <laughs> I think he'd be able to fix the damage that Hikari can inflict there. Man! Well, there's a sidestep stuffing me out. Stuff. Uh, crap. I don't know. Do that. Wallop. Now it begins. Get him with the wallop. I don't know. I guess I can use staff here. Oh, that's a cool looking staff. Yeehaw. Summon the violinist again, maybe. Nah, do this again. He's gonna run out of SP here soon, but it's probably fine. Probably a okay. You know. All right, why do you have different weaknesses now, Neo Steam Engine? I guess because it's Neo Steam Engine rather than regular Steam Engine. It's black instead of red. When you give something a black color scheme, that's when you know things got serious. It's the rule on video games. Yourself. Uh. Yeah. Bonk. <laughs> give it a bonk. You forced my hand. Here we go. Have I now? Is that what I've done? Um. <laughs> yeah, it has the power of Neo. Cool, sword is your other weakness there. Here, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do that to be safe here. Safe side of things. Alright, well. Good luck hitting us with physical attacks here. So many sidesteps, man. Arcanist parts of Shio. Just like Rune Lord Merchant in uh, the original game. Just as busted here. It seems like. Well, um. Let's have figure out your last thing, I guess. Winda. Win Guardian. Now it begins. Uh. I don't know. Stamp. Don't have you beef. Nice miss. <laughs> nice try. Preparing to explode! Three turns to explode. Oh, I can take you up before then. That's no problemo. That's no problemo there. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. That is a okay. Alright, Bradishio is almost out of SP here. Um. Yeah, because of Arcanist, he can. Uh, oh. Here I come. Alright. I'll use his max boost next turn if it comes down to that. If I actually need to. Sure, do that. And man. We can do this! See how much damage this does. Give it a go. Alright, enough. If it didn't, I could have just used Hikari. Hey, yeah, that works. <laughs> Look at all these buffs. My goodness gracious. Throw a wrench. He has a lot of wrenches, doesn't he? I return your wrath twofold. This guy yeah. sure has a whole lot of wrenches. Got a funky looking spear there, don't I? Well. Yeah, I can probably just take him out with a thing or bob from Hikari in a hot second here. Here, I'll even break him first. Oh never mind. Would have been really cool to finish him off with the max boost thing there after he was broken. Oh well. Oh, Doggy Cam was already off. I have been foiled. You don't feel a lick of remorse for what you've done, do you? Listen, the reason Mr. Rock gave you the boot was because you were playing dirty. No, no. But I'm a forgiving sort. So, let me give you a chance to set matters right. You're hired, fella, if you want the job. Excuse me? Of course, I gotta kick that offer down the line a bit. I don't have the funds to pay you yet. But, once I buy the rights to the steam engine from Mr. Rock, you've got a place working for me. What a joke. You don't really believe you can produce 80 billion, do you? Who knows for sure? 
Still, I believe I can do it. In the end, a person can't achieve nothing unless they got faith in themselves. <sighs> You're a man of unnatural tenacity. That's a talent. You'd make a good worker for sure. Just you wait a little while, Thurston. I promise the day will come when I can give you a job. I... I admit defeat. You have a risk-friendly approach to life, don't you? I don't doubt you'd hire anyone off the street, no matter their credentials or background. Everyone's got a job they're suited for. Only problem's figuring out what that is. Oh, by the by, I came to let you know how the store's doing. Oh? I've been eagerly awaiting news. How's business? <laughs> Try to keep your socks on, but... Feast your eyes on this, a genuine clock bank pocket watch. As part of our opening sale, we're offering two for the price of one. Act now, they're going fast. I'll take one. Oh, me too, me too. Uh, this deal's gonna bankrupt me, but what the heck. Go on and take it, you thieves. Oh. My. This energy, this verve. Well Grove has returned to the hustle and bustle of better days. What magic did you work to achieve this partitio? <laughs> what? Simple. First magic spell was a simple policy. Sell high quality goods on the cheap. By centralizing the destination for our suppliers, uh, that's this place. We simplify logistics and enable transportation en masse. That lowers the cost of said transport, meaning we can sell better goods for cheaper. Spell number two, this department store itself. The convenience of having all these goods in one place means people stop by loads of stores and buy more, more, more. In short, we built the place so lots of folks can and want to shop here. It's bound to make it livelier than a rodeo. These two simple ideas are what's generating all that energy. <laughs> that and a dash of passion. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Thank you, Particio. This more than proves your worth. As promised, here is my end of the bargain. Eighty billion leaves. Uh, wh what's this little thing? A check. A promissory note that you can exchange for legal tender. I figured it would be rather hard to carry around eighty billion in coin. Oh, good point, I guess. Hmm? If you are dissatisfied, I can throw some silk into the bargain. Uh, no, no, I, I trust you at your word, Alron. Oh, right. We should draw up a contract for this loan. Promise that I'll pay you back. Not necessary. You've already given me a down payment. But that's just my calling card. A single silver leaf. Indubitably. This is a symbol, a promise that no mere paper can equal. <sighs> Our honor. Alrighty then. Time to swing on over to Mr. Rock's place and buy up that steam engine.
If I may ask, do you really intend to sign a deal with Rock? I do not expect a businessman of his caliber to simply hand over the steam engine willingly. A word of warning. Do not trust that man, Particio. You would do well to ponder how he will react to your proposal and plan accordingly. Well, thanks for the warning, Alron. Much appreciated. P Particio, hello there! Yeah! Ori! Oh, seriously, where do you keep coming from? Not important! Have I got a scoop for you! Magnate Rock has released a proclamation! A big announcement is coming regarding the steam engine! Massive, earth-shaking! Uh, suspicious timing. Wonder what he's up to. Hmm. Hope he didn't get tired of waiting for me and made some wild play while I was out beating the bushes. Yeah, might as well head on over and see what all the fuss is about. Wait a sec. Does that mean you've collected the dough? <laughs> you could say that. Oh, big scoops are falling from the sky today. Wait until my brother hears about this. I believed in you from the start, Particio. Hey, don't leave! It wasn't finished yet. The proclamation will be made on Rock's very own private island. Rock Island! It's private property, so there are no ferries. We need a ship to get there. <laughs> well, I already got my own vessel. It's a fine vessel, too. Purchase fair and square from Terra. Traveling merchant Particio makes cool 80 billion. Particio continues to amaze. With a challenge from the rock company in hand, he opened negotiations with fabulously wealthy noble Alrond. Moved by the merchant's passion, Alrond has agreed to act as financer. Will this desperate gamble to prevent the monopolization of the steam engine work? Read our next issue to find out. Tissue of the Merchant Chapter 3 End. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. That was a good one there. But what kind of nefarious thing where Bob is rock pulling here? Is he going to sell it to like one of his associates so that, you know, he doesn't have to sell it to partition? Well, that he can't anymore. He doesn't own it anymore himself. Or maybe like diffuse ownership or something like that. And yeah, it definitely is there. He's up to something a little bit fishy that we'll uh, find out about the next time that we... Whoops. Next time that we continue with Partitio's story. What the heck is going on with that? Something wacky is happening. Uh, do I want to do another chapter three tonight? Or do I want to call it and wrap up the Scarlet and Violet essay? Maybe start rendering it tonight. <laughs> you know. I do wonder. Because it's almost done. I'm working on the conclusion right now. What chapter threes we have left? Ch chapter three at level 45. So things are starting to get pretty close to my level. Um... But, uh, you know, with my classes and equipment, I should still be really, really strong. Nasty Oswald. The other one of Thrones and stuff. Yeah, so we've done Temenos and Thrones earlier. Chapter 3 is there, so I'll probably end up doing those later. Yeah, I've been going for a little smidge now. So, maybe I, uh, we'll just work on the Scarlet and Violet video essay some more tonight. Get that wrapped up so I can hopefully publish it at the end of the week of at the 45 hour mark now is the case we're decently stronger we made some good progress and stuff but yeah i also gotta get like some decent sleep for my truck to get inspected tomorrow and stuff you know it's kind of the kind of the thing where bob i can't exactly stay up all night and sleep in all day <laughs> for the uh because of the inspection gotta be up at a semi-decent hour for that and see about getting my truck on the road here pretty soon oh doogie is tired Quite relaxed, it seems like. But yeah, 
So with that, thanks everybody who stopped by and hung out for this another session of the Traveling Octopus. And I'm going to head out of here for now. So until next time, take care and see you. Goodbye.